to a football match, they came on like that. Da, 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 da. It was Charleston Athletic. <laughs> There we go. My guest today, I'm laughing already. My guest today is a comedy legend, the one-liner king, the pun master Tom. general, and all-round lovely man. He's looking behind him. He's a, I'm talking about you, sir. He's an actor, a comedian, an occasional singer. He puts the fun back into fundamentally brilliant, and he's back for 2021 with his plastic Elvis tour. He is the mighty Tim Vine, everybody. He's here. Hello. Come on. Yeah. Oh, this is, I was enjoying those jokes. That guy sounds funny. He's very I, uh, funny I, indeed. Some of, <laughs> some of those jokes I haven't told for so long. I was actually having my memory refreshed. I think that was from um, the... Uh, yeah, so I sent to this bloke, was it? Yes, that yes, one. Yeah, that yeah. one, yeah. There we go, yeah. anyway. Uh, how are you doing today, Tim? Very well, yeah, enjoying the sunshine. I love it. Yeah. It's, you, you've just said it's warm in that room where you are. Uh, it is. That there's your books two, are there's two windows. Yes. Um, and, um, and also, I have a little bit of a... Um, your, your listeners that may know how to sort this, but... I have a bit of a problem that my, uh, my I can't heat my water unless my radiators are on. I know that sounds really, okay. really bad. So I kind of, um, I mean, last night was ridiculous. I was lying there thinking, Listen, I'm absolutely roasting. So, so maybe today I, I've actually plumber. turned, I've turned some of it off. And so I don't, know, I don't even know what's heating up. This is sort of, if you just joined us, welcome to Plumbing <laughs> News. I'm sorry. Yes. But, uh, uh, Tim, Tim Vine Plumbing, it's the way forward, I think, if this comedy thing dries up for you. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Good work. Yeah. Dried up, there's a pun. Now, listen, yep. how, let's, let's talk about that, because uh, I know you're, you've probably been asked this question 100,000 million times uh, in right. the last... Uh, I mean, first of all, you start... I saw a clip of you on... Was it on Pebble Mill? Back in yes, the early 90s? Yeah, that, that right? was the yeah. first thing I did, yeah. 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 I mean, you look yeah, younger Yeah, I started there. with a lampshade on my head and said, sorry, I'm a shade late. And that's when they, that, you know, they knew where I was going from there, really. And, and how was that? Because that was the first time we'd seen you on TV. Uh, did you find that people didn't really get you at the time? Was it No, I, you know what? I or? loved it. I did Pebble Mill about three or four times. And what I loved was that they had this slight sort of blue rinse brigade. And they were yeah. always the sort of, the people who were kind of the, the, the audience who, who, who were available during the day at one o'clock to go and watch were often kind of pensioners. And, and they, they were always jolly and a great mood. And they're all, you know, the women all laughed like this. <laughs> You know, I, I absolutely loved it. I thought they were a fantastic audience. And it seemed to be, I seemed to be pitched at their level as well. I seemed to be sort of, I wasn't very kind of, I wasn't touching on any trendy subjects or anything. So yeah. I think, you know, they were very nice to me. Yeah. Well, you know what? You, you bring us comedy that everyone can listen to. You're not foul. You're not rude. You don't insult people. You're just very clever at using the English language to make people well. laugh. Uh, that's very kind. It's only because that's the only language I can speak. You realise that, don't you? Well, I realise that it must have been really difficult in Chinese. <laughs> yes, I, I couldn't do that. No, no, don't, don't even attempt to do it. Where does oh, that come from, though? Did you start off when you when you looking to oh. do comedy? Was that your plan to, to one uh, night? No, I wanted to be a pop star originally. I mean, I've always just sort of been interested in the idea of performing, but originally, mm. I think I wanted to be, um, yeah, I wanted to be a kind of singer songwriter. I just wrote loads and loads of songs, but I didn't really do anything with them, which is. Okay. I mean, it's a shame. I didn't perform them. I did. I did that classic thing of writing loads and loads of songs and recording them in my bedroom, almost hoping that by some magic there'd be a knock at the door and the head of EMI would go, "We think there's someone in the back room of this house who's writing great songs and singing them, and we want to make him a star." And I thought that that you know maybe I thought could been, yeah. there's could be no other reason for it. there was well, no other I, way I, this was going to happen. I said in the intro, occasional singer, and I don't know if you probably shook your head at that, but that's because when you do your set, you do have some songs in there, which are Yeah, ridiculous. I have silly songs oh, and things, yeah. yeah you do. My mother speaks like this, my father speaks like this, so I speak like this, which can be rather embarrassing. Exactly. Songs like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's which really show the way. vocal range. It does. I'm surprised you, the pop career didn't take off then um, with that, <laughs> because that was super. Right, you know what I've been doing? I'll tell you about something I've been doing lately. It's, uh, I, I've got because I recorded all these songs of mine down the years, I've got yeah. literally hundreds. And I had these particular, was 10 particular cassettes that had 30 songs on each. And I thought, you know, leave it another 10 years, that's going to dissolve and disappear. So I've been sitting down and reloading the stuff onto a memory stick so, so uh, it's not vanishing. So I've sat there and listened to, you know, five hours of me singing in my 20s. I've really enjoyed it. I bet you did. Do you make yourself laugh? Do you think when you it wasn't back to funny? Your... No, no, no. A couple no. of times. Well, sometimes some of the lyrics make me laugh, although they weren't supposed to be funny. I mean, I mean, there was one bit where I kind of go, uh, 
I am a wreck, but the sea is too deep to find me. And I was sort of, you know, I laughed at the idea. That that that's was, it. You I looked that very good. Elvis-esque then. And I think that takes <laughs> us nicely to your tour, Plastic Elvis. Uh, tell yes. me about Plastic Elvis. Uh, what's all that about then? Well, I, I have always been a massive Elvis fan. And since the age of about 12, actually, I first started sort of, you know, uh, doing his songs while looking in the mirror and pretending to be him. So I, the idea of, of doing an Elvis tribute act is something I've always wanted to do. I mean, let's get this straight. This, this tour is probably mainly for me. So okay. it's not a stand-up tour. Um, oh. It's not full of jokes. It's literally a come on and I pretend to be Elvis Presley. I've got a fantastic band um, who are absolutely brilliant musicians. There's five of them. And, uh, and I come on and sing the songs and I talk a bit in between and I, it is sort of funny in between the songs and stuff and because it's me trying to be Elvis. And also Elvis had quite a, a weird sense of humour. He likes sort of silly stuff. So I think the sort of the comments I'm making are kind of in the sort of in the, the, the vein of the sort of comedy, he sort of silly things he said, you know. Yeah. Um, but it's, it, it's, it's hard to explain it because, you know, you don't look at this person here and think to yourself, there's a guy who really should be doing an Elvis tribute act. It's the it's the quiff, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. not there anymore. What's, what the flip? <laughs> yeah, no, no. I've got a fantastic wig. In fact, I posted the wig off the other day to get it all dressed and ready. Oh wow! Oh wow! Yeah. So you're actually doing this then? You're doing it's, this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm actually going ahead with this. Job. this <laughs> wow! Is, <laughs> I mean, I thought that was a complete as much joke, as you. I can tell you. Well, listen, I, I'm sure we all love it. I mean, just. I, I've seen you a few times now. I, the first time I came in, in contact with you was at the Edinburgh Fringe. And I, I came out, with, I was with my cousin. We came out and I swear we couldn't breathe. We, we hurt <laughs> everywhere. It hurt. And we tried to do that thing where we tried to remember everything you'd said. Yes. And we, and we, couldn't, we couldn't do it. We couldn't do it at all. <laughs> How do you remember every single, because there's, there's no apparent link between the one joke to the next. Yeah, well, there's, and there sort of is, though. It's just that ah. they, you're, you're right, it's not apparent, but the links are sort of there. And it, yeah. people always assume I've got a great memory. Actually, I don't, I don't feel like I have got a great memory. What happens is these tours get booked, and, and I don't want to go up there and not know the act. So I do rehearse it quite a lot, you know. And, yeah, and so if, you have, if you're doing a joke about a, a, uh, a dog, um, and then the next joke is about a fence, then maybe you might, think to yourself that someone's taken offense at the dogs sometimes you have i mean some just stupid little links sometimes in your head that are not jokes you don't yeah. say them out loud but they just help you know what the next joke is coming up and then eventually hopefully you know it so well that when you're doing it the jokes just drop into place as you're saying them and you don't have to think about it because am i right in thinking you've got a world record with the amount of jokes in an hour is it well no i did have there was a a guinness world record for most jokes in an hour which um I, I briefly held, yes. Oh, and wow. I think I think someone in India's got it now, maybe, or um I'm not sure who's got it now, but it's uh it's a, I did four hundred and ninety-nine, but I think that the the record now is about six hundred. I was looking into that because people sometimes ask me, and I don't know. That's don't insane. Know. That's a lot of jokes. Um, it is a lot of jokes, isn't it? It yeah. is a lot of jokes. Have you got a favorite? Uh a favorite joke. Well, I like yeah, you, uh, yeah. one armed butlers, they can take it, but they can't dish it out. Yes. That's very I've good. I've been a fan of that one. Um, the Velcro well, got, one I like. I'll like see if I've got a joke about it. Oh, well, I was going to ask you if you've got one about radio. Well, um, I normally say something about how often I tell radio jokes, and then it's something. To, the, the joke is something to do with the frequency. But uh, but I there's a joke there somewhere. Um, yes. I, uh, <laughs> radio. That's probably the one we're going to have to go with. Frequency. Okay. That, oh well, that I, works for I, me. I've just—I'm not doing a joke. I'm just giving you a word. You say you want a joke. I'll give you a word that's connected to the subject you give. That's a better game. You say radio, right? Um, aerial. There we are. It's, that, a, it's an easier game for me. That than it is. It's an easy joke, word. So it's like yeah. Timmy's mallet. Was it? Do you remember that back in the day when mallet's word mallet. association? Mallet's mallet. There we go. Timmy mallet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Similar. No, no, exactly. Yeah. Well, it's, it's exactly. not easy than telling jokes. To be fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah just not being funny is the way forward isn't it um but let's talk about oh, other i stuff, like that. It's great. he's but i follow him on social media he's a genius um let's talk about other things that you've done uh not going out a massive yes. fan I've, I've watched that far too many times um i, I should you should be still, me, i'm still so. on now i mean yeah um, absolutely these, yeah it's up to about series 12 or something isn't it amazing something I mean, like I, that i, I always I, am amazed by by lee's um work rate really i mean yeah you know, he, he could be forgiven for thinking, do you know what? I think I'd have the easy life now and, you know, not write any more of these, but he goes off into his shed or whatever it is now. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, 
and yeah, and produces episode after episode, and and they're all brilliant. So yeah, yeah. I, and there's the few series with you in it as well. Uh, you played a guy called Tim, which was genius. That was handy. Yeah, but actually, I was very handy. College yeah. early on, they gave me the name College. Uh, because, college. Yeah, it was a nickname that I was given. Although my character's name was Tim, Lee's character used to call me College because I was his only mate who had gone to college, I think was the, <laughs> the joke. There. <laughs> the joke there. And they tried to make me look kind of hard. So I kind of, okay. I, mean, I had a little bit more hair than I have now, but they, they shaved it off and I had stubble. I looked a bit like I look now, actually. And, you look, uh, and they you gave look me sexy. Look sexy I think they, yeah, <laughs> they, were trying, they were trying to make me look like a tough guy. Like I was kind right, of uh, you okay. know, college, yeah. Yeah. Because you you were in a band in one episode. You wore leather and you, you sang on that performance as well. So oh, that was great remember. fun doing that episode. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's just an amazing show. And uh, it's a shame you're not in it. And I guess it's because there's no story. But uh, would you return? Uh, no, I think I've, I've, sort of, I've done it. I was in five series and we had great fun doing it. Mm. Um, I, I just felt like I, I, I wanted to change at the time. I mean, it was quite a long time ago. Now I left it. Um, and now, of course, in a way, it's a different sitcom now anyway, isn't it? It's um, a family sitcom. Yes, yes. Um, you know, and the kids are involved, and it's great. Um, but no, I, I'm very proud of the of having done it. And, uh, you know, five... I'm trying to think how many episodes I was in. If it was five series, I was probably in about 20 episodes, maybe. Wow. No, probably more than that, actually. No, five, but maybe 25, maybe. Well, I don't yeah, know if you know, that. your performance is on... Is it the... The sketch show was it the comedy the sketch show with Lee Matt? Oh, the sketch show, yeah, yeah. The sketch show. They've been making uh, appearances on TikTok of late. They're everywhere. Yes, I've, well, occasionally yeah. they sort of leak through to Twitter. Actually, funnily enough, and I think to myself, you know, there'll be a sort of TikTok sign above it that shows that it's where it's come from originally. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, it's great that people are enjoying them. You know, it's uh, you know, there, um, there, there were some great sketches in that. I, I used to do a lot of the kind of a lot of those sort of short ones, and that they sort of suits su- suits um, you know the internet yeah. world of uh, here's a quick sketch and then move on, you know? Well, it's, it's everything you do is just fantastic. You must love what you do. Um, I, I do love it. I right? mean, yeah. more and more now I, I, I am, you know, I, I am missing being in front of an audience Yeah. because yeah. partly because back when this whole COVID thing started, I was really getting up ahead of steam, getting ready a new hour show together for Edinburgh that year. So I was sort of in the early stages of that. So I, I hadn't written much of it, maybe I don't know, 20, 25 minutes of it or something. Um, and and then, of course, it all stopped. And so the whole process stopped. And I kind of want to get back into that process of trying out stuff again, because that's part of the part of the most fun thing for me, actually, is is writing stuff and trying it because mm. you do, it's, it's great when something works that you weren't <laughs> expecting to work or, you know. So I, can't so wait, few, I can't wait for that to happen jokes. here. It'd be nice if, I, if people enjoy what we do here. That's, you go well, I'm sure stage, they do. I mean, they do they, enjoy they absolutely it. do. They do love it. They wouldn't be tuning in otherwise. Um, no, exactly. Especially when it's so What I like is I'm sort of facing the camera like this. You're, <laughs> yeah. you're almost, it's like you're driving a car. You're sort of sideways. <laughs> I know, I know. Like, well, it is, I'm truck. driving this thing. That's exactly <laughs> what I'm doing. I just be careful not to crash it. That's what I'm yeah. trying not to do. Uh, Tim Vine is Plastic Elvis. Is at the Alex yes. in Birmingham, 18th of oh, October. And, and I can't wait. I, and I genuinely yeah. mean this. I love playing Birmingham. I've, yeah. I've uh, since my sort of Pebble Mill days, and I, lo- I just, I it's, it's, to me, I've always had a good time when I go up there. So, so I'm hoping they'll um, come along and enjoy it. It is, as I say, it's not a stand-up show. It's not like loads of one-liners. It's something a bit different. I'll get back to the one-liners in another yeah, show. Yeah, please. Thing, come please along do. if you like Elvis and, and nonsense. Well, please do, because we love what you do. Uh, we've, very briefly, uh, and I'll be shot if I don't talk about this, um, yes. sport. Uh, I'm right. not a fan, but you are. What, you're uh, not, not a fan of sport? Well, I, I like, I don't mind athletics. I can't do football. I'm really sorry, Tim, because right. you're a big fan of non-league Sutton United Football Club. I am not a fan of non-league Sutton United. I'm a fan of League Two Sutton United. I feel ashamed. For 123 years, they were non-league. They're not non-league anymore, Matt. Can- Okay, no, okay. Not, not I, I feel, any, I'm not a fan of non-league. I feel you're United. shooting the messenger slightly because <laughs> I'm only reading out what I was given by my head of sport oh, well, here. Yes, met, so yeah. that's my excuse. <laughs> uh, so he wants to know, Roy yes. wants, not me, Roy, yes, gone. Roy, Roy Felton, wants, to uh, wants to know, uh, how did you feel when Sutton United were promoted, there you go, as champion champions of the Bananarama National Bananarama. That'll yes. do. National it's League. Like into the they were in a van. Yeah. 
Bernard Rahm in the van works for me. Uh, how did you feel when they were promoted? That's the point. Well, it was fantastic. I got to go to that match. And as I say, 123 years is a very long time. They've never been a league club. And the team, it's just very exciting that this team has, has finally done it. We've got a brilliant manager who's relatively new, been there for a couple of years with us. Um, brilliant chairman. It's just a fantastic club. And next season is going to be very exciting because it's all uncharted territory. Well, that sounds like football speak to me. Um, I'm going to go with that's brilliant. Well done. <laughs> well, well done well, to I'm, the football I'm hoping team. there may be, I, I, you know, I've suggested they bring me on briefly and I just, you know, yeah. run up a wing and cross a ball in maybe. You know, just could, to... could, could you do that, do you think? I could be brought on. I mean, whether I could cross a <laughs> ball. I'd, I'd certainly, to, to have half a chance of crossing a ball, I'd like to be on the right wing. My left foot's not doing anything. <laughs> sure, yeah. I don't know where, I, there's no place for me on a football pitch at all. Maybe half-time right. doing the oranges. Maybe I could do that. Yeah. Do they do yeah. that anymore? I think, I think they I go know. indoors for the oranges now, don't they? They don't bring them out. They've obviously changed. I don't know. I mean, I'm going back a few years. Listen, we've gone way over time. Um, I I know. It's been a pleasure. And you look like you're losing weight in that hot box of your room. Um, I should mention the books behind you. This is going to go off. It's been a bacon. (laughs) (laughs) Imagine your house is full of these gags, these visual gags everywhere. Uh, I don't know what makes you think that. (laughs) No, no, I just, those books are are concerning me. I, I, I don't, just don't lean too far back. Is that a real dog? Uh, if I move away from these books, they come forward. So if you don't mind, I just right. stay here like this. Stay where you are. It's a great Tim. pleasure. As always, it's a pleasure. Please carry on doing what you're doing. Uh, thank you for joining me. You're my new best friend. We should go for a drink. Absolutely. Let's do it. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, please say thank you for Tim, Tim Vine. It's actual Tim Vine right there. Tim Vine. He's been attacked by a shark or something. I haven't always been this way.